Hello there, welcome beautiful stars. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for your awesome support. You guys are amazing. I appreciate each and every one of you for being here and spending your time here with me. I hope I can bring you a reading that helps you out today or entertains you in some way. So I wanna show you guys a couple new decks I got. So we have some new, a couple new tarots that I've never used on this channel before. We have the Tarot of a Moon Garden. From back from the early 90s, I think, and the Chrysalis Tarot. So they're both really pretty decks. So thank you guys so much for your donations. Makes it very easy to buy new decks. I really appreciate that. All right. I don't have much else to say. This is the second video I filmed today. So this is our weekly messages from your person reading while we're, where we will do a quick check-in to what's going on with your person and then we will get you a bunch of message cards from various decks to see what kind of things they might say to you. And I always love hearing the feedback when you guys say that, oh wow, they actually said those exact words to you. So there, there really is, you know, something interesting going on in, in these readings across YouTube, you guys. So if things are highly resonating for you, there's probably some kind of message for you in there. Maybe the whole thing isn't meant for you, but sometimes it is. Okay, so yeah, just take always take what resonates for you and leave the rest. So here are our six piles or six decks today for you to choose from. Always go with what you're first drawn to the most. And of course, you can pick more than one if you are drawn to more than one. So number one is Rose Quartz. And this is the Tarot of the Moon, Tarot of a Moon Garden. And Pile 2 is the Serpentine Heart, and this one is the Dark Wood Tarot. Pile 3 is Angelite, and this is the Chrysalis Tarot. Pile 4 is Black Moonstone, this is the Crow Tarot. Pile 5 is Blue Appetite, and this is the Spirit Song Tarot. And pile six is banded amethyst. And this is the Ocean Oceanic Tarot. All right, so please pause the video if you'd like some more time. I appreciate you all so much. Hey there, pile one, the Rose Quartz. Thank you for being here with me today. It's so great to have you here. So let's check in. This is the Tarot of a Moon Garden. Let's check in with your person right now. What is their overall energy towards you at the time you're finding this video? Oh, well, this is nice, you guys. Ace of Cups. So a lot of them are feeling pretty in love with you. They're feeling emotional about you. They could be happy to just be starting over with you if some of you got back together again. So there's some kind of reboot or just new, new emotional start in this connection, which is really nice. This is a card you definitely want to see in a love reading. All right. What else is the overall energy of this person towards you? acceptance everything happens for a reason reason so maybe they were a bit resistant to this connection for a while and now they are allowing it more into their heart into their life they're seeing that maybe if some of you had a little bit of a split that it happened for a reason and now you guys can rebuild better than ever And here is express your love. Whoa, this person is feeling pretty expressive with their love. So if they haven't really been expressing their love much, it seems like they want to or they're about to go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So they could be making some kind of plans or just thinking more about how to advance this connection with you. So that's very interesting. All right, let's look at what are they thinking about you right now? The Nine of Swords. Wow, so they must be feeling pretty guilty about something that went on. Let's see. Clarify that. Here is the Wheel of Fortune. Maybe they are feeling bad that they missed out on an opportunity with you before, or they weren't quite seeing clearly that, you know, how special you are in their life. Anything else? The magician. So they might have started realizing this love they had for you and maybe they started feeling guilty and bad for how they were treating you in the past or kind of writing you off and maybe just going their own way, doing their own thing, trying to be powerful and in control and now they're kind of succumbing more to this love here. So how are they feeling about you overall?
Here is death. It looks like this card was coming out as well. Temperance. Whoa. Okay. So to me, this looks like, you know, this, this might've ended like I was saying, and now they're wanting to fix it. They're wanting to have a second chance and heal this. They're seeing like good things really take time and that, you know, they, I feel like they want to just smooth things out and forgive you of anything. And they're hoping you'll forgive them. All right. How are they acting overall in this connection? The five of staffs, which is the five of wands. So they still might be battling it out a little bit with you here. They're, they're feeling some kind of conflict going on. This could also be drama in their own life that's going on. But you could be getting all sorts of different strange behavior from them. Where maybe they're really trying to come across as kind of argumentative. But I feel like they're not really deeply feeling like... You know, I feel like they don't, they're like not super seriously arguing. They are, well, let's, let's get a clarification for this. Okay, this one's coming out. The Ten of Swords, man. Okay, so they could be feeling really conflicted about it, what, when they ended this communication with you before. If some of you are in no contact with them, they could be fighting with themselves over whether to talk to you again and thinking about they should express their love. That could be this guilt here. Maybe it's been too long since they've been talking to you and they're realizing that they're going to lose you if they don't get talking. Wow, two of cups. Okay, so yeah, there's there's some kind of recognition going on here that they are going to miss out on this really nice opportunity if they don't get going. So what are their intentions towards you right now? The King of Pentacles. Man, so some of them might want a commitment with you. They are wanting to be there for the long term with you. They want to be what you deserve. So this is pretty interesting so far, you guys. All right, what are their blocks and fears when it comes to this connection? The Six of Cups. I feel that maybe they are afraid that they can't have the happiness of the past with you again. If, if things were going really well at one point and then they did something to mess things up, they're afraid that you're not going to accept them back in, that there there's not going to be reconciliation, that maybe they're unforgivable and all the, the best is over. Okay, so what do they most want from this connection in you? The Five of Cups. So I feel like they really want you to take them back. You know, they want to, they're just really missing you and they want you back. So they're afraid they're not going to get what they want. You know, that reconciliation going from the Five to the Six of Cups. And what do they most want you to know right now? We got two cards coming out. Here's the Three of Swords. It's pretty. And the Four of Swords. Wow. Okay, so the Three of Swords and the Four of Swords, they want you to know that, you know, anything, any heartbreak that you might have caused them, anything that you did to hurt them, they are getting over it. They are healing. They've had a lot of time to do some deep thinking on some stuff, and they just want to get over any of these issues that were between you two. Okay, so let me get you a few advice cards and then we will get you your message cards. Actually, I'll get one from the Hidden Truth first. What, what is Pile One person's hidden truth in this connection? Really not saying. Sometimes I stay awake thinking of you. Oh my goodness, you guys, that's like literally what's going on here. This is think the thinking position. What are they thinking about you? And this is the sleepless nights card, you know, just so they're like really worrying whether this is going to work out or not, whether you will forgive them for whatever went on here. So this card is coming out to you. <laughs> I regret lying to you. There's a lot of regret going on here, you guys. Wow. Okay. Advice for pile one. What do they most need to know right now to help them? Okay. Two cards. Retreat. Never underestimate the healing power of a quiet moment. So this time apart from this person is doing a lot of good for both of your souls, really letting both of you heal. 
and here's discover. Look at the early dew drops before they disappear with the morning sun. So this is saying, you know, don't miss what's going on in your life right now around you. If you're in a lot of stress over this, this connection and this person as well, don't miss out on the good stuff that's going on around you. All right. And then be open to new opportunities if you're not sure you want one with this person. All right. What are their advice for pile one? This is the Suhaswara Chakra, so that's the Crown Chakra. The Crown Chakra is your connection to Source and Higher Self. It gives you spiritual connections, guidance, and stronger intuition. Do you feel alone? Do you lack faith in spirituality? Spirit is calling you to sit in meditation and listen to your inner guidance. You have the answers already. I feel like that is the main message of this card for you. You have the answers already. Listen to yourself, retreat. Go within. You, your inner voice can lead you. It's a very quiet voice. It's not a pushy one because it respects your free will. All right, one more advice card for pile one. Endurance. So endurance is something important for you to focus on. I feel like this is saying don't give up on yourself. You know, don't give up on this connection if you feel it is worth continuing to press on with. But most importantly, don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your life. Don't give up on new opportunities coming in for you if you feel like this relationship is not fixable. So yeah, definitely have faith that better things are on their way for you. Better things, better days can be had. All right, let's get you your message cards from your person. So for pile one, what would their person actually say to them? This one. I despise my inability to show up and communicate my feelings. So, yeah, because that's why they're thinking about how they need to express their love. I absolutely adore everything about you. And I see your name everywhere. So this is like they're reminded of you constantly. What else for pile one? Pretend I don't care because I care too much. That one comes up a lot. Yeah, this person, I feel like they did start out as cold and controlling, and now they're regretting that behavior because they feel like, oh, wow, I'm going to miss my go round here with this person. I'm going to miss this opportunity. I don't want to lose you. Yeah, they might have realized they're, they've been stuck like in this on this like, hamster wheel or something. And while they were busy trying to do all their stuff and manifest all their things, they forgot that, oh, wait, I need to give you some time. And here's I'm overcoming my childhood trauma. So they've probably just had a, a hard go at life, and that's made it harder for them to really have like more empathy in a relationship. So I, I do feel like, you know, this is a caring – for most of you, it is a caring person – but if someone has zero empathy, you do not want to be with them. Okay, so let's see. What else for pile one? Fear held me back for sure, you guys. Look at all that fear holding them back, the Nine of Swords. I don't know how to express what I truly feel. So that's why they're really, they're agonizing over like they just don't even know how to express themselves. But it's like they hold this cup of love within. When I think of you, I smile. So they do know how to, they do know how to express themselves that way. You know, the emotions are there. Here's we are mirroring each other on the bottom of the deck. So that could be some maybe helpful advice for some of you. I'm thinking about making you an offer. We did have the King of Pentacles coming in here for their intentions, which is very interesting. I'm just going to get one of these here. Okay, let's get a shadow message from Pile One's person. The closer I get to you, the more fearful I become. Yeah, maybe things got too close between you two and then they pulled away. They freaked out. All right, a light message. All right, we got two of them here. So your light helps me navigate through the darkness towards you. So keep shining your light for this person. 
helps them feel safer to come through and maybe express some more truth to you. My motives are sincere. Please see beyond my struggles. I'm trying my best. You are always safe with me. So this could mean that they've forgiven you of everything. You are my rose. Our connection is so beautiful, but it's also painful and confusing as hell. Don't think I don't care about you because I really do. Very interesting with two cards about pretending to not care. Here is your words keep ringing in my head. Yeah, look at all those word daggers they're being hit with, you know, they, they just can't quite escape those thoughts. Maybe you told him to wake up and smell the coffee. <laughs> okay, I'm entwined in the thought of finding you one day. So I feel like they want this to work out somehow. And here's I cannot handle any more heartbreak. So that could be some of their weird behavior too, is just this intense fear of loss and heartbreak. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys can try another pile if this one you feel like it wasn't for you. I appreciate you guys so much. If you want to see what decks were used in this video, there's a timestamp below for that. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello there, pile two, the Serpentine Heart. You guys chose the Dark Wood Tarot. So the last time I used the Serpentine Heart, I said there must be a lot of Scorpios watching this pile because I believe this is a very Scorpio type stone. And I feel like a lot of you would choose this tarot as well because it's a dark shadowy tarot and Scorpio is very comfortable in the shadows, but don't worry, you do not have to be a Scorpio to choose this pile. All right, let's go ahead with the overall energy with your person. We'll get a little mini read on them and then we'll get a lot of message cards for you. All right, so what is Pile 2's person's overall energy toward Pile 2? Here is the Seven of Pentacles. All right, so they are, it's like they're, they're sleeping on the job when it comes to this connection. So I feel like they haven't really forgotten about you, but they're also not doing a lot of action forward toward this connection. But you know, they, they have invested in it and I feel like they, they don't want to walk away from it. This is something that they're hoping will pay off in the future. All right. What else for pile two person? Forgiveness, forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. Wow, forgiving and learning. Holy cow. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So, well, let's get some more cards here. It seems like a lot of you had some kind of conflict and you know, they are working through it or they're having to work through something else in their life where they're having to learn to let go of it. They could have been through some very difficult family experiences and that's what's making them sleep on the job with your connection. You know, they had to kind of maybe go dark in your connection to go take care of some other stuff that's been just plaguing them and they've had to really release it. Okay, so what is Pile 2's person thinking about Pile 2 overall? The Three of Wands. Here is another card of let's delay this until the future. I see potential and beauty in our connection, but it can't be right now. Let's just keep trying to make the progress we can make at the moment. All right. How are they feeling about you overall? Ooh, nice, you guys. The Ten of Pentacles. They want you as a fixture in their life. They feel that you are home and that you are very worthy of everything they have to give. They want to share with you. Okay, how are they acting in this connection? Let's see if we get another sleeping type card. So it's kind of like a sleeping beauty type card over there. The King of Pentacles, how beautiful. 
Okay. So yeah, this is someone who is there for you. So they might have actually said, you know, they want to be there for you. They want to take care of you. Um, I like the energy in this pile so far. I feel the forgiving forgiveness coming through. It doesn't even have to mean it was from a conflict. I also take when this comes through, it can mean unconditional love. So it could be that they they are feeling a very beautiful divine love with you and they feel like they would forgive you anything. You know, you guys would just keep working out. So it's really beautiful, you guys. Okay. So, so far, you know, this is someone to hold on to for most of you. Okay. What are their intentions towards you? I feel like this is a Virgo for a lot of you. The sun. Wow, they want to keep making you happy. Oh my goodness. They want to do everything they can to make sure you have a good life and they never hurt you. Because they, they're in touch with true love. Okay, what are their blocks and fears when it comes to this connection? Yeah, I just feel like um, you're this radiant queen or king to them. The more earth two of pentacles so they're afraid like they're not going to have enough time for you and that's going to upset you you know like where they're sleeping on the job with in this connection here because they're not sleeping on their other job i feel this person's a real money maker but it's because they they care you know they they want to provide value in the world you know they they're a giver rather than a taker so it could be yeah they just get too busy and then they realize like oh crap i didn't spend enough time with with you and this is a very, like Virgo came through already, but that's a very Virgo type issue, you know, where they're, they're very honest and sincere and they're really working hard there, but their fault is they just don't notice how much time they're putting into work instead of their family that they do care about. Okay. But it's because they're trying to provide so hard. Um, anything else from this? But yeah, your person does not have to be a Virgo. That's just the energy coming through. So what do they most want in this connection with you? The seven of wands. So they want to keep fighting. You know, they want to keep making this last. You know, they're willing to just kind of go to battle for you. I feel like they also want to make sure that you are strong and independent on your own. So that way, when they are, you know, off doing their, their work, that you're going to be okay on your own. Okay. What, what do they most want you to know right now? The Knight of Swords. Okay. So I feel like they want you to know that they are really, really busy right now, that they, their mind has been racing. They've been all over the place. They are getting stuff done. And this is why they haven't been giving you as, as much attention. But from these cards, it looks like they are very loyal to you and their heart is very true. It's their mind is like racing. All right, let's get you some advice and then we'll get you some message cards. So First, we'll get the, what is pile two's person's hidden truth in this connection? Oh my God. I love you unconditionally. Holy crap, you guys. That is amazing. I love that so much. Like I have chills from that. I haven't gotten chills in a reading in a long time and because this deck, I don't even use it all that often because it has some kind of crap, like kind of crappy messages and no offense. I mean, I love this deck I, and, um, just there's a lot of like, ooh, kind of messages in it because it just makes you feel like, blah. But um, this is one of the very pretty messages in the deck. So I love that that came through and confirmed what we were getting from the forgiveness here. Okay. And every time I've used this in a reading, I don't think this has come up very much. I don't remember if it's ever come up. Okay. Pile two, advice for pile two. Yeah, you, you guys have like this eternal love type bond here. It's really pretty. Courage, like the seven of wands here. When picking roses, don't fear the th thorns. So don't fear the rough stuff you have to go through with this person because it looks like it's well worth it. They want you to keep fighting on your own while fighting your own bat battles while, while they're away fighting theirs. Here's detachment. 
Sometimes we have to detach, detach in order to gain clarity about a situation. Nothing outside of you will fix an inside problem. Spirit is asking you to take a step back and get a different perspective. So you might be doing a lot of worrying and having a lot of anxiety about this situation. So this is just saying, you know, take a step back, get out of your emotions a bit and just calm down. It looks like this person really loves you. So no use worrying. Just focus on your own stuff. Compassion. Oh, wow. Unconditional love, forgiveness, compassion. This is a very beautiful divine love. So that could be the advice for you just to let you know what a beautiful love there is for you here. If you're very much resonating with this, I'm happy for you guys. We haven't had a, we have some pretty nice readings, but sometimes they, they don't have such a beautiful, like flowing energy like this. Like there's a lot of love flowing through this reading. And I love that this is the darkest deck I'm using today. And it is bringing forth the lightest and most beautiful messages. We'll see what the other decks bring through. But my gosh. All right. Let's get you some messages here. What would Pile 2's person actually say to them? I will find a way to make things right. I know this is too good to give up. Yeah, they certainly haven't given up on you. You changed something inside me. I don't know who I am anymore. In a good way, apparently. I wish you could tell me what to do to make things right, but I probably wouldn't do it anyway. Well, here is that stubborn earth energy coming through, so there could be some Tauruses here as well. And, oh wow, this is so appropriate for this reading too. On the bottom of the deck, I'm doing my best to become who you need. I want to be the one who gives you everything. Yeah, this is someone who likes to provide for sure. They are very generous. They have no hangups about giving you money and taking care of you. But they still want you to be able to fight and be independent on your own because you never know if you know, something could happen to them. I'm not saying I'm seeing that in this reading. I'm just saying, you know, that that's the only reason they would want you to be able to fight for yourself and work for yourself. Otherwise, if they can guarantee, they could guarantee they could always be there for you for the rest of your life, then they wouldn't care. You know, they would just provide for you. I fear that if you get too close, you will hurt me. Yeah, earth energy can be really sensitive underneath. You're so different than what I'm used to, but I like it. I feel the difference here is because this is the kind of person who's with people who would very much take advantage of them, and you're not like that. I feel like a lot of you are a fire sign with an earth sign here, but you, you do not have to be okay. <laughs> All right, and I'm sorry for lying to you, and I don't feel like this person's like intentionally deceptive, but maybe they just haven't been like fully you know honest with everything and making a plan to come back to you. I want you to be happy. Oh my gosh, yeah. Because that is what was in, literally in, let's see, this was thinking, feeling, acting, intentions. Yeah, this is what they intend for you. They want you to be happy. They want your happiness. This person's definitely like kind of like a knight in shining armor type person. Very honorable, very like old fashioned and kind of chivalrous. I am sending you signs. And be kind to yourself. Oh, yeah, because they they really want you to take care of yourself because they love you so much. So they don't want you to be rough. Okay, let's talk. <laughs> and here's our chemistry is so strong right now. So maybe they are getting ready to want to talk some more about this connection if you guys need to. All right, what are some shadow messages from Pile 2's person? I almost feel like I don't even need to get the shadow messages so much, but let's see. I feel, oh, of course, for an earth sign. I feel insecure about our connection. Okay. Usually people with earth energy do devalue themselves. That's part, I feel like that's part of what drives them to work so hard and provide so much money. So they're going to be afraid they're not good enough for you. So as much, so it's good to reassure them as much as possible. Facing my wrongdoings is too much for me right now. Okay. What about light messages? I know we're connected even when we are apart. 
I am transparent and true. I hold strong integrity and I know you can trust me. Oh my goodness. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, King of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Sun. All right. What else would Pile Two's person actually say then? You are always so sweet. There's a strange and deep connection between us. I didn't fall in love with you because I've always loved you and always will. So that love existed within them always. Things aren't always as they seem. So they didn't get hit with a Cupid's arrow because that love, they were born with that love. I constantly feel you running through my veins. Your face haunts me day and night. And I've had sleepless nights caught between confusion and pain. Wow. Yeah, this person probably does feel quite a bit of anxiety around, around this connection. Just because they want to make sure they don't lose you and they're treating you right. And, you know, they could, if they are kind of sleeping on the job, like not communicating too much, they, that could be causing them some anxiety, but this means they want to keep investing in this connection. But yeah, it does look like they are very much being haunted here because they haven't made as much progress as they wanted to. All right, you guys, I hope this resonated for you. And if it didn't, no big deal. Just try another pile if you'd like to. And I appreciate you guys so much for being here. If you want to see the decks used in this video, there's a timestamp below for that. And thank you so much for subscribing if you have. And I'd love to have you if you haven't. So thank you so much, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello there, Pile 3 Angelite. Thank you guys for being here. I hope you're doing very well. So this is the Chrysalis Tarot. First time on this channel. So let's get a mini read of your person and then we will get you a bunch of message cards. So what is Pile Three's person overall energy toward them right now? The Three of Stones, which is the Three of Pentacles. So it looks like you know, they're interested in continuing to build something with you and to continue working with you, possibly wanting to create something with you. But they feel like this is a work in progress that, you know, maybe it's not quite as far as you guys would like things to be. But, you know, they still, it looks like they're still invested in it to some degree. You know, they're very interested to see where this will continue to go. They feel like you guys work together very well, that there is, your connection makes sense. There's a practical reason for having it. Balance. One person is giving too much in this relationship. So they could be recognizing some kind of imbalance here. There could be a higher percentage of Libras here as well. They might not have enough. They might feel like they don't have enough to give to this just yet. Religious factors. And it could be because something in their life is holding them back. Or some kind of some kind of beliefs, maybe just feeling like it's not the right time for this connection. It wouldn't be appropriate for in, for some reason. Just get one clarifying card for religious factors. Ooh, the two of mirrors, the two of cups. This is such a beautiful card. So there could be a marriage involved here somewhere, or some kind of relationship, and they don't want to intrude on that. It doesn't have to be. Let's see what else comes through. Or this could even just mean you know, having some kind of block to love or just maybe not believing in soulmates or twin flames or something and they, they're they having a hard time accepting you know, the spiritual nature of the connection. They just see it as more like you guys would work together well. You make a good team. All right. What is Pile 3's person thinking about them overall? Oh, how beautiful. Look at this. Lovers. So, okay. I mean, we have the two of cups here and the lovers. I mean, looks like they are just fantasizing about you, daydreaming about you, wanting more with you, thinking about all the times you spent together, especially physically. All right. What are, this is coming out as well. Six of mirrors. Oh my gosh. This is the six of cups. 
there's so much beautiful stuff coming out here you guys so yeah this is like reminiscing so yeah that's what i was saying like they're reminiscing on you know the times you've spent together or if you haven't even met yet you know they're just really dreamy about you okay what are they feeling about you overall Merlin, the hero, so this is like the fool, but they, I feel like you give them a sense of pride and confidence and like they want to come in and just sh kind of show off for you, but I feel like they, they feel kind of puffed up because of you. You make them feel powerful, which is a good thing. Okay, how are they acting towards you? This is the chariot, Hearn the hunter. Okay, so they could be, you could see them kind of pushing things forward with you or just maybe being not too sure which way to go with you too because this can also be like being pulled in two directions. So maybe they're having to give a lot of time to something else right now and they're not able to make as much progress with you. But I feel like for a lot of you, they are trying to push this forward. You know, obviously they think quite highly of you. They think you're the one for them. Or, you know, they're very attracted to you, that's for sure. And the Pilgrim Page of Scrolls just came off the deck as well. So this is like the Page of Swords. Okay. So this means, you know, they you can sense that they want to come forward. They want to push forward for more with you. Or, you know, for some of you at a long distance, you know, they're wanting to, they're expressing they want to travel towards you. But there is hesitancy. There's caution here. And they could just be wanting to kind of keep an eye on you, just kind of, watch what you're up to. Maybe you know that they are looking at your social media but not really saying a whole lot. Okay, so what are their intentions toward you overall right now? The Sojourner, so Sojourner, <laughs> the King of Mirrors, which is the King of Cups. Wow, you guys are getting a lot of cups here. So their intentions are that, you know, they want to care for you. They want to love you. They want to be there for you. This is a another wonderful person to be in a relationship with. So I feel like they have good intentions towards you. And what are their blocks and fears when it comes to this connection? The nine of spirals, which is the nine of wands. I feel like this is, they have walls up to greater intimacy. So they might be better at just expressing themselves physically when it comes to love. They're, they're just not used to letting anyone in. I feel like this is a very independent person who's used to just doing their own things and just manifesting what they want in life. And this has made them build up boundaries around them. It's very hard for them to let someone into their own world, even if it's someone they think pretty highly of and are very attracted to. Okay, so what do they most want in this connection? The Ten of Scrolls. This is the Ten of Swords. So I feel they want to know that they can trust you, that you're not just going to betray them or cut them off. And they want, I feel like they want decent communication in this relationship as well. Yeah, I just feel mostly they're wanting to be able to, to trust you. It's going to be hard for them for a while because of these boundaries they have up, these walls. And what do they most want you to know right now? storyteller the hermit so this is they're saying like they just want to they like to have their alone time it's nothing against you it's just they are a very independent person who does I, I isolate themselves from everyone as much as possible they're just very comfortable and at peace when they are alone okay and then the star is on the bottom of the deck so to me this is them also wanting to convey that you are special to them and they do see that you are unique and beautiful all right what is pile three use person's hidden truth in this connection i wonder if you're happy without me so some of you might have moved on some of them, some of them might have cut off communication with you and now they're just, you know, thinking back on things, maybe thinking about if they made a mistake or not. All right, advice cards. So for pile three, what advice do you most need to know right now? Move. 
A rolling stone gathers no moss. Well, we do have the chariot here move. So a few of you, this could be a literal move, uh, like a physical move, and uh, I mean like a home relocation. And others of you, I feel like this is, most of you it's saying, get moving in your life. You know, don't, don't stay stagnant. Don't let this person keep you stuck in any way. Just keep moving no matter what's going on with them. Stubborn. That's interesting. Move and stubborn. Okay. At any time, either twin or soulmate can reach up and accept spirit's help to bring them together. However, their own stubbornness is getting in the way. Ask your guides to assist you with closing the gap. You may find you are the one sitting down. Very interesting. So yeah, I guess maybe look at anywhere that you are able to, if you want to make this connection work, is there anything you can do to move it forward to maybe move some of your thinking around the connection? Just ask yourself that and see if anything comes up. If nothing comes up, that message probably wasn't for you. If something does, you know, definitely pay attention to it. Very interesting that we have people that are worlds apart here too. So this is another, could be another long distance thing. But yeah, it's like there needs to be, it looks like you guys are having a hard time understanding each other's thinking. Else. Thoughtfulness. Yeah, speaking of thinking, how interesting. Okay, so what do we need to know about thoughtfulness here? So we have the hermit here. So there's a, I feel like there's just a lot of like time out and deep thinking that's needed about this connection to figure out how to proceed forward. So take your time with it. You know, keep moving in your life, but take your time trying to figure out this connection. I feel like you don't have to rush this connection. There's no need to rush it. All right. Life gets better when you're not rushing. Let's get some messages from your person. Pile three. What, what would they actually say to them? What would pile three's person actually say to pile three? I've cried myself to sleep thinking about the pain I caused you. We don't have the five of cups here, but we still do have this watery six of cups, very nostalgic, sweet energy. My late, my life may appear to be put together, but I assure you it's not. Wow. Yeah, because they give off this, you know, the magician hero vibe where they, they're like, yeah, everything's going great for me, but it, you know, underneath it all, no. I'm doing my best to become who you need. I want to be the one who gives you everything. Yeah, they want to be a hero for you. And then finally, I feel empty inside. I need to fill me up before I can give you what you need. So I feel like this is why they spend a lot of time alone. They're trying to figure out life, trying to figure out themselves. Okay, what else for pile three? What did that person say? I want to follow my heart because they miss you. I can't stand not talking to you. And I never expected to feel this way about you. So this balance, this imbalance in this connection, it maybe that made them kind of run because it made them feel a bit guilty. It, like the guilt was just too much. So I miss holding you. Yes, your feelings are correct. I'm thinking of you right now. Let go of resentment. Interesting, that's like that move card and the stubborn card. So it looks like both of you kind of need to just let go and let the, the universe kind of work things out for you. And if it's meant to be, it will happen. Okay, let's get a shadow message from your person. I need you all to myself. Maybe they're feeling a bit possessive with you and just getting getting kind of jealous and they they didn't want to show you that side of them. I'm trapped in my addictions. Just any kind of bad habits, any lower thinking. Okay, let's get some light messages from them. I'm taking responsibility for my own life and decisions. This is good. 
I won't resist this any longer. I love you. I want you. Interesting, you guys. Yeah, for, we did have the lovers here, so that can very much mean that they love you. Can you handle all of my scars? Yeah, they feel like a pretty messed up person and they, they feel like they are a pretty messed up person. So I feel like they with these boundaries they have up, they're trying to just hide a lot about themselves. With the hermit, yes, like hiding too. You will be in my heart until death and beyond. Things aren't always as they seem. Yeah, it feels like this person is really coming across, like I said, like this big hero, but underneath I feel they're kind of like um, a crybaby almost, not not in a bad way, just you know, a soft heart or whatever, just sad about things. You are my star who outshines all others. Oh my gosh, we did have the star card showing up, and I feel like I've been missing you my whole life. You're my lost paradise. Beautiful. I am terrified of you. Yeah, they're terrified of being fully seen by you for who they are. I'm electrified by you, like the star you are. Very interested in you. And I can never say it, but I do love you. Well, that's a beautiful card to end on, you guys. All right. So, yeah, they have a hard time letting this kind of love in. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys can try another pile if you didn't like this one or if it didn't resonate. And I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Would love to have you subscribe here if you haven't already. And thank you if you have. And the decks used in this video, there's a timestamp below for that if you're interested. So thank you guys so much. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello there, Pile 4 Black Moonstone. You guys chose the Crow Tarot. So, it's so nice to have you guys here today. Let's get a mini read of your person and then we'll get you some messages from them. So, first, let's get what is their overall energy in this connection towards you, Pile 4's person? All right. Let's see, I had it upside down. So, here's the Three of Swords. Okay, so many of you are in separation have had a breakup, had, have had some kind of conflict. So I feel like they're having some kind of just grief about maybe how they've treated you, some kind of guilt. You know, we don't have the Nine of Swords here, but maybe it'll come up in the other cards. So what, what else is here? What else for their overall energy? I feel like they're, they're missing you. They're just not feeling good about the situation. So it's better than, you know, them, uh, you know, I feel like you are, you are on their mind a lot. So passion, try something you've never done before. This connection with you is totally new to them. It's a passion that they've never felt before. So I feel like it's freaking them out, and that's probably why they ran from this connection. But it, they, it doesn't look like they're happy about running from it. They're dealing with a lot in their life right now, it seems. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So this heartbreak could lead them to wanting to give this another chance, come back around with you. Just, you know, see where this leads. Yeah, here's separation on the bottom of the deck. So if you guys aren't in separation, this might not be the reading for you, but of course you're always welcome to watch. Okay, so what is Pile of Fourth Person thinking about them overall right now? Okay, here is the Ten of Wands. They're overloaded and burdened by the situation. Maybe they have been overthinking the situation and they are burnt out. They're like, this is intense. Okay, how are they feeling about you right now? I feel like they're kind of hating themselves for thinking about you so much. Here's the Seven of Pentacles. So this is this is a nice card. I mean, to me, this they're not like feeling like all these major feelings right now, but I feel like they have you in their heart. Like they want to keep building something with you. They don't really want this to be fully over with you, but it's something they feel they need to delay right now while they go work on other things. Okay, how are they acting with you? The Queen of Swords. Yeah, they maybe rejected you. They feel you're very angry at them. You probably have reasons to be angry at them. Anything else? Yeah, they've, they've just been kind of cold towards you. The Six of Cups was coming off the bottom of the deck. So you... If you're not talking to them right now, when you did talk to them, sometimes they would be kind of cold and business-like with you. And then other times they would come through as just this real sweetheart. 
Like it's it, it was like multiple personalities almost. You would get just different different expressions from them at different times. So some of them, yeah, we're going on to, I was going to say some of them might be like actors, you know, someone very creative, expressive, you know, able to go through a bunch of different moods. What are their intentions towards you? So yeah, especially if they have like a Mars square Neptune aspect that can be a, an actor. Okay, what are their intentions towards you? All right, Ace of Wands reversed. Interesting. Here's this passion here. So, oh my gosh. So they must just be overloaded with passion. You know, this can be uh, sexual frustration as well. We're just so attracted to you that it's just overwhelming and frustrating. And so right now they're intending to block out this passion and not act on it because I feel like they, they wouldn't, they feel they wouldn't be making the right choices if they did. So what is blocking them in this connection? What are their blocks and fears about this connection? So it's coming out the King of Swords. Oh yeah, they're afraid of losing their power. They're afraid of losing this business front they've put up for you all this time. You know, they they want to just stay in control. They don't want to show you the little page of cups underneath, you know. So they're they're just they're afraid of losing control. That's the deal. Okay, what do they want in this connection with you? So you could be dealing with a Libra here, the high priestess. So I feel like right now they just want to kind of leave this connection in spirit, not be talking too much at the moment and definitely not be, I mean, even if you are talking, they don't want to be expressing this passion right now because it would consume them and it would get in the way of them doing their business. Okay. So what do they most want you to know right now? Oh, this is the nine of cups. That's beautiful. So I feel like this is saying like they, they feel you are a dream come true to them, that you are a beautiful dream. And then that you feel, you fill them with pleasure when you guys are around each other and you know, they really wish that they could fulfill this beautiful passion with you. I feel like they are hoping for that one day, but you know, this person is someone who just really, really wants to be in control and will not just express those passions look at this yeah it's a huge temptation for them the devil on the bottom of the deck right here so i feel like they they know that you can read this about them so i feel like they also want you to know that they know that you know <laughs> okay so let's see what is this person's hidden truth i know that i crossed the line with you oh man yeah because I feel like a lot of them are just ignoring you or just they were being too businessy with you and they should have been a little sweeter with you because you know you know that they have these sweeter feelings for you underneath. Okay, this is nice on the bottom of the deck. I'm becoming a better person. Okay, let's get you some advice cards and we'll get you some message cards. So what advice does Pile Foremost need to know about this connection to help them the most? surprises venture down the rabbit hole okay oh that's so cute that little rabbit right there so to me this is saying you know this connection isn't necessarily over there could they could be full of surprises you know don't don't give up if you feel intuitively guided to be here and you know if this person's ignoring you or just not there for you go venture down the rabbit hole into in something you're very very interested in okay you guys that's going to help you get your mind off this person just really really get into your work just like this person is totally consumed by their work like way too consumed by it you know maybe follow suit and that's going to maybe start waking them up because if you guys have a very strong soul connection they're going to start missing you when your energy is not on them Oh, and here's hidden depths on the bottom of the deck. You only see the surface. Look beyond. So yeah, this, well, look behind this person's surface behavior here. So what is underneath the surface of this person? Okay, this card is coming out. The chariot. Yeah, this, this fiery passion and drive to want to travel towards you and come towards you. The fool. Yeah, a little, like a little kid, someone who wants to have this new start with you. And someone, they, they feel like a fool compared to you. They feel like you're way more intelligent than them, but they don't want to show you that. 
and here's the four of pentacles in reverse so it could mean very much they really do want to open up and and share with you all right what other advice for pile four anahata that's a heart chakra so a lot yeah we with the three of swords here so i feel like both of you are pretty heartbroken over this and you for sure and apparently they are too with what's coming out in the cards they could you know that they hurt you and it's it's making them feel very bad they thought that maybe by kind of pushing you away it would make them feel better and it could be making them feel even worse Okay, this says light shining out of a crack in a hardened heart can become so bright that it lights the way out of the darkest places. So maybe this person, um, you know, really was trying to harden their heart to, towards you, but they feel like they can't. I mean, they're finding that they can't. Spirit is asking you to be grateful for the spiritual encounters you have, for the lessons outweigh the pain. So just appreciate what's going on in, in your life right now, and that will help you get through any pain from this connection. Feel like this heartbreak is helping you to wake up to the life you really want wow yeah have faith have faith that you are being led somewhere beautiful that it's not just going to be all pain and darkness and crap you know you have prosperity coming your way so keep getting down to business you know show the world what you're made of all right let's get you some messages now okay this is coming up oh wow you guys success just came off the top of this deck Bloom wherever you are planted. That's a pretty common quote you see around. I think it's a pretty good one. It means that no matter where you are, even if you have pretty difficult circumstances, there's always some kind of small opportunity you can take. And then once you take advantage of that, the, it, usually the universe works this way. It starts giving you bigger ones. So you have to take the ones that are in front of you. Okay, what would Pile Four's person actually say to them? Whoa, yeah. I crave you. The touch of your hand, the look in your eyes. I thought it said head. Every single piece of you I need to have again. Man, this person is so passionate about you. I feel empty inside. I need to fill me up before I can give you what you need. So you guys need this time apart, it seems like. Because they have a lot of fixing they need to do. Uh, it could be they, they have heartbreak from the past they're dealing with as well. Oh, look at this. I want to wake up beside you every day. So I feel like they, they do see you as, as their lover. And here is I need some space right now. That's obvious. Okay, what else for pile fourth person? I keep seeing signs of you everywhere I go. So whether they're seeing signs of you or not, I feel like this is saying you know, they do keep getting reminded of you. Or like maybe, you know, on social media, you're popping up in their recommendations or something like that. Whoa, I'm still healing wounds from a past relationship. That's exactly what I was feeling with this heartbreak here, that it's this connection is bringing those things back up that they thought they were over and they're probably not actually over them. I, yeah, over. I don't want this to be over with us. So yeah, they need to still kind of get over this stuff. They need to heal it. And then I feel like they, you know, they don't want to let go of this completely. It's the seven of pentacles. I feel like they're just trying to see if things can you know stand the test of time. And wow, I love you on the bottom of the deck. All right. So let's get some shadow messages from this person. Pile four shadow messages. Things have been way too serious lately, man. Yeah, maybe things got way too deep, dark, intense, and they're used to just things being kind of playful and light, and it just freaks them out. I am keeping my feelings for you secret. Look into my eyes, and you'll see what I feel. Okay, some light messages. The confusion has lifted. I'm so glad we're on the same page and understand each other. So they could be coming to some better understanding of you. Oh, you are home to me. Okay, this one's coming off as well. I trust that you will be gentle with my heart. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, they they really need someone to be to be gentle with them. So I feel like they do trust you, but it's it's just like not the right time right now. 
in this time apart that I feel like it's essential for them to, to learn that they can trust you. And here's I've gained wisdom from my mistakes. So yeah, they could be very much realizing they made a mistake with you. Okay, what else would pile for this person actually say to them? <laughs> Our chemistry is so strong right now. They really thought if they pushed you away, it, it would just go away. Our love is protected. So this could mean, you know, if you guys are destined to be together, that, you know, it's okay to just let go, go your own way for a while, and it will work out. I often think of our last intimate times together. And so for a lot of you, that could be physically. If you haven't been physical with them, they could be just thinking about like intimate communication with you. Okay, what else would they actually say? I always hope to have you in my life. I love you. I hate you. I can't live without you. So, <laughs> so that it's like they they pushed you away because they just hate living like this. But then they're I, I feel they're starting to realize you know it's it's heartbreaking to push you away. You are my secret passion. Wow, passion again. I tried to stop these feelings, but now you are burning hotter and brighter than ever within me. Oh my goodness. Well, this is the most passionate pile yet, that's for sure. This is a very fiery, passionate person. They, they could have some Aries in their chart. All right, what else? This is like Aries and Libra. I believe you. Okay, this can mean they, they trust you. You know, they find you to be a trustworthy, sweet person. <laughs> I am burning with passion for you. And now we can see why the Ace of Wands is reversed because they were like, screw this. You know, they, they wanted to try to turn it on its head and leave it, but it's not working. Give me more time. I'm not good enough for you yet. And then on the bottom of the deck here, we have, I would just hurt you more right now. I need to be alone. My goodness. Okay, you guys. So I hope this resonated with you. If it didn't, no big deal. Just try another pile if you'd like to. So thank you so much for watching. And if you're interested in what decks are used in this video, there's a timestamp below for that. And I'd love to have you subscribe here if you haven't already. And thank you so much if you have. I hope to see you very soon. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye. Hello there, lovely pile five, the blue appetite. Hope you guys are doing very well. So this is the spirit song tarot. So first, let's get a mini mini read of your person and then we'll get you their messages for you. So overall, what is their energy in this connection towards you? The eight of shells, which is the eight of cups, quest and renewal. So they might've gone their own way for a little while to take a break from this, or they could just be a little more emotionally distant than usual, or this could mean just they are at a long distance from you. What else? So maybe things got too emotionally intense and they needed they need a break to, to renew themselves right now. Fate. This is a destined partnership. I feel like they're having a hard time denying that this is a very big connection, that there is something more at work here than just your average relationship. And this one, new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So I feel like they're having to go off on this little quest to understand what's going on in this connection. They could be discovering some of their love for you. It's like, yeah, they need to refresh their feelings. Things maybe got a bit stagnant. All right, what are they thinking about you overall? Ooh, the Empress. Well, this is a nice card to come up for this. Beauty and abundance. Okay, so it says right on there, beauty. So they're thinking about how beautiful you are. They think you have everything. They think you have everything going for you. You know, you're a great person to be in a relationship with. They see that you have a lot to give. You're not someone who's going to take from them and drain them. You know, they're, they see you as someone with a lot of value and worth. Some of you could be Tauruses, but you don't have to be. Okay, so feeling. What are they feeling about you overall?
the two of crystals. Here's the two of pentacles, balance and adaptability. So they could be a li still a little uncertain of how to proceed emotionally with you because maybe they are starting to have these feelings of love come up and it's kind of confusing them. They're not too sure how to fit it into their life. You know, they just, they feel very wobbly when it comes to you in this connection. Okay, how are they acting right now? The Three of Crystals, the Three of Pentacles. We have all Earth energy coming up here so far. Collaboration and productivity. So some of you might actually work with them. Okay, anything else from this card here? So I feel like they're still trying to, even if they've gotten emotionally distant, they might still be trying to work with you. And it's more on a practical level. You know, you're not seeing the emotion as much or the passion. And they're also not, they're, they're only opening up to you about things that, you know, kind of need to be said. Okay, what are their intentions toward you right now? Transformation, this is the death card. So this is very similar to the Eight of Cups, because the Eight of Cups is like Scorpio as well. Transition and liberation. So for some of them, they are wanting to have a new phase with this relationship. They want some kind of pattern to end in this connection. Some of them could be wanting to move on, you know, if that resonates for you, but they're noticing there needs to be some kind of change. Like they know they need to do things differently. So let's clarify this. The two of shells, the two of cups, union and harmony. Yeah. So they're seeing that they need to be able to be there as an actual lover rather than someone who's just more business-like with you. So they could be going through a process to transform into this. And then for the smaller number of you, they are right now, you know, kind of walking away to end this. And I feel like, you know, the, you would already know that if, you know, that that message is for you. Okay, so what are the blocks and fears in this connection? The Nine of Crystals, the Nine of Pentacles. This is a very earthy person. Security and abundance. So they're just, yeah, they're, they're feeling like they don't think they're good enough for you. They are, you make them feel very insecure. Like we have abundance and abundance here. So maybe you have more money than them. You're just more successful than them in some ways. Maybe you have a better career or, or not a better, but like a more prestigious career than they do. Something like that. Or you have a business, they don't. Or you've accomplished more than they have. Okay, what do they want in this connection with you? Ace of Crystals. How many pentacles, you guys? Manifestation and Prosperity, the Ace of Pentacles. All right, so they could want a whole new start to this relationship with you, and they could want... Yeah, I feel like they want it to be built on like really practical reasons, they want it to be where, you know, it's going to last. They they don't want this to be built just solely on emotion because they feel like that won't last because emotions come and go. But they feel like if there's something solid between you two, then it will last. So they, they do want something that has the potential to last. Okay, what do they most want you to know? The tower. Release and revelation. So they could be letting you know that they're beliefs about reality are completely changing they could be starting to see very clearly that this is this connection is bigger than they thought it was so let's see a lot of big heavy change going on with this person here so if uh, you're not in too much communication with them I feel it's because they're dealing with a lot of personal stuff right now And it looks like they're kind of just hiding out, trying to blend into their surroundings. They don't want you to know that they're going through this. Here's the Seven of Crystals. Oh, more Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Options and results. Get another card. Maybe they're realizing, having more of a realization of why you've been investing so much in them in this connection. Maybe they didn't understand it before and now they are getting that understanding because they're seeing this 
this big connection between you two. And here's the five of acorns, the five of wands in, re in reverse, challenge and growth. So I feel they, maybe they're calming down, you know, most of the time they are fighting their way through the world and maybe have kind of a big ego, kind of aggressive in a way, and they are being humbled. I feel like they're being humbled and silenced right now. And here's the Knight of Shells, the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck, charm and passion. So they might be kind of having some dreamy mo uh, moments about you here and there. All right, what is their hidden truth? I'm afraid to contact you, man. So they might be, maybe if a lot of you aren't talking much, they might be just afraid to even reach out because they're, they are embarrassed by how they act, acted. They have too much pride to apologize. All right. So let's get you some advice cards first, and then we will get you some messages from your person. All right. For pile five, what do they most need to know right now to help them out the most? Weed. Don't tolerate less than you deserve. Okay, that's a good piece of advice here. So you are this empress, whether you're a man or a woman, and they are not quite on your level. And, you know, maybe you feel they are in many ways, but on some level, I feel like emotionally and like relationship intelligence or relationship, yeah, relationship intelligence wise, they're, they're not. So you know, if you feel like this is a destined connection, it doesn't mean it's necessarily needs to leave your life entirely, but it's time for you to, you know, stop focusing on this person if they're not giving you what you deserve, because that's really unfair. And that could even be, for some of you, literal advice to go out and pull weeds, because the outer reflects the inners and like vice versa so sometimes when you pull weeds in your garden or just clean stuff up in your environment then it can clear your mind as well here's the Vishuddha chakra which is the throat you will find your inner truth within your throat chakra self-expression is your portal to the spirit world because it starts with truth and communication do you lie to others or accept the lies of others without confrontation spirit is asking you to take a step back and face the truth in your situation yeah so face the truth of the situation whatever it is and i feel like the truth is they're not giving you what you deserve so time to go work on getting in union with yourself to feel like you can accept yourself more and feel better about yourself and good in your own body dreams go follow your dreams go work on your dreams well this person is not quite being there for you they have a lot they have to deal with and go through you guys and bravery okay this is a time for you to just be brave be strong be independent and be confident and this is going to bring you a lot more joy you guys okay and for some of you go watch joy at a journey in light i love her and i love her channel <laughs> okay so Let's look and what would your person actually say to you? What would Pile Five's person actually say to, say to you? I think I've lost you for good and it's my own fault. So they do realize, you know, they're not giving you what you deserve. I'm afraid of the love I have for you. It consumes me. I pretend like I'm not paying attention. I see everything. Deep down, I was committed. And here is, I'm sorry. Yeah, they do owe you an apology, you guys. Open your heart. Okay. Open your heart. So I feel like the universe is working on them to open their heart and, you know, open your heart to yourself, open your heart to the good stuff coming into your life. And don't let this person get you too down and depressed right now. All right. What shadow messages for pile five from the person?
What did you expect? Roses have thorns. Man, yeah, so maybe you see this person is very, very beautiful, and you know they were they seem perfect, but of course that kind of came crashing down for you, and then you were met with some thorny behavior from them. I'll probably hurt you a good bit. Right now, affection is something I find hard to give and receive. Yeah, they're pretty frozen. It does look like, yeah, they, there's all this. That makes a lot of sense with all these earth cards, you guys. They're very, very practical type person. All right, what are these? The light messages from Pile Five's person. I feel your warmth, even from a distance. I have a clear direction of where things are heading. That's interesting, you guys, with um, fate here. So they're having some kind of knowing that things are kind of working out to bring you two together. So it looks like they're not ready to take a lot of action on that. Okay, what other things would they say to you? This cards coming out. So tired of sabotaging this connection. This is them recognizing that they've messed up. They're messing things up. You know, it's not you. It's not your fault. <laughs> Okay, so I know we're twin flames. Yeah, it definitely does feel like a twin flame connection here because of the similar type issues. I have a plan, but you have to trust me. This could be the divine plan coming through. Okay, what else would Pile Five's person actually say to them? The taste of your presence is something I will never, ever be able to forget. Everything I do reminds me of you. So it looks like there's a lot of you being on their mind. Even as they're busy with their work and whatever they're doing. You are my destiny. Wow, you guys, we have two cards of destiny here. That's very interesting. Your picture brings me to tears. And even if they're not actually crying, it could just be your pictures making them emotional. My love for you goes so deep. So interesting. So at some level, you know, it looks like they have this love, but it's hard for them to unlock it. And to express it. I've, oh, yeah, look at this. I've tried telling you the truth so many times, but I just cannot for some reason. Now, that's ridiculous. So because, you know, we were just talking about they have a hard time expressing themselves. And you are my muse. So they might express emotions for you through their music or through their art, their writing, whatever they do. Or you just inspire them during the day while they work. Okay, I think that's all I have for you, you guys. So thank you so much for watching. If this didn't resonate, you can try another pile, of course. If you want to see the decks used in this video, there's a timestamp below for that. And I would love to have you subscribe here if you haven't already. Thank you very much if you have already. And I hope to see you soon. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye. Hello there, Pile 6, Banded Amethyst. So I hope you guys are doing very well. This is the Oceanic Tarot. All right, so let's get a mini read of your person first, and then we will get a bunch of messages from them for you. All right, so what is your person, what is Pile 6's person's overall energy toward Pile 6 and the connection? All right, we have Justice, which is Balance. Okay, so... I feel that they are feeling like they want to partner with you. Let me get one more card here. It could be seeing that they need to come around and make something right. It could be for some of them, you know, if they've done something not so great, you know, karma's coming back around for them now. And here's the Knight of Swords. So another air card. Drama. Whoa. Okay. So if there's some drama coming coming through with you guys it could be that you know things are going to be working out for for your highest good what else is going on in pile six what is their person's overall energy yeah they've really caused a stir with you because i feel like they just don't have their thoughts straight on this relationship they're having a hard time finding order in their mind when it comes to you I feel that they are being pulled in a bunch of different directions when it comes to this connection. Here's apology. You can expect the apology you want to hear. So it could be kind of 
yeah, just messing with them that they maybe treat, didn't treat you like you deserved and they are realizing they need to make th things right. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So I feel like they are trying to just kind of hide from you because they're just, they, they yeah, they do feel some shame. Like they can't really show their face here. Although they could be coming across as nothing is bothering them. There's romantic feelings on the bottom of the deck. So they could also be hiding, hiding deeper feelings for you as well. All right. So what is Pile Six's person thinking about Pile Six overall? The Nine of Cups, a wish, so they could be just wishing and hoping that things can still work out between you two. They do see you as a dream and a pleasure in their life. You know, they they really do feel good when they're around you. Very satisfied. Okay, what are their feelings towards you right now? The Hanged Man, Limbo, yeah, so they feel like they're stuck in Limbo. They're, they are just stopping themselves from doing anything because they just, they're frozen. They, they don't know what to do because they have realized they're causing a stir, but I feel like they are not really used to apologizing to people. So it's kind of foreign to them. They don't, they just don't know how. Okay. So how are they acting right now? Ace of Cups, love. So they could be expressing some love to you or just, you know, acting, just acting like this happy person who is in love when they're around you. They could be very flirty with you. They could be acting like, you know, nothing happened to cause this drama and that they, they could just be you know, covering up that they know they need to apologize. They're, I feel like they're trying to act like nothing's wrong. All right. What are their intentions towards you right now? The seven of pentacles, potential. Okay, so this to me, usually this card means to me they're not giving up on this connection. They're not walking away. They're still wanting to invest here and there. And what are their blocks and fears when it comes to this connection? The five of wands, more drama. So competition, this could mean that you know they they might find you very very attractive and they fear other many others find you very attractive as well so they don't they're very afraid of having to put up with all that competition it would make them really jealous and just really insecure and what do they want most want in this connection with you okay this one is coming out the six of cups a nice card reflection so this could also mean kind of a reconciliation. So if you guys did have some drama that cut you apart, they might really want to get back together with you. But overall, I feel like they just want like to spend these sweet times together with you that are drama free and that are just, you know, the thing, uh, the stuff of dreams. So I feel like this is a very dreamy person who isn't always very realistic. And yeah, I, I just feel like they still have a little bit of growing up to do, but they, they are making progress because at least the first step to making progress is at least recognizing that there's a, that there's an issue or a problem. Okay. So what do, what do they most want you to know? The three of cups, more cups. Wow. Reunion. Okay, so this means like they want to get back together with you. They want to have some more fun with you. They're also saying like, especially with the Nine of Cups here, that they don't even really understand how to be fully committed committed in a relationship just yet. They they just kind of know how to be a loving friend. You know, someone that just has fun and you know splashes around. You know, like this dolphin here. And this could be because they are covering some heartache. You know, from the past or just fear of heartbreak. All right, what is Pile Six's person hidden truth in this connection? Just being near you is intoxicating. Interesting. Yeah, with all these cups, you know, this could be like 
alcohol, like they just feel drunk when they're with you. There could, they could even have a drinking problem, you guys. So I usually don't see that in the cards, you know, except when maybe the devil comes up. But whoa, yeah, maybe that's part of this person's issue here. Maybe that's causing some problems with you. Okay, let's get you some advice. Okay, so pile six. What do they most need to know to help them the most in this? Hidden depths. You only see the surface, look beyond. So, yeah, make sure you're, you're trying to look into this person as much as possible to make sure that you feel like this is something that would be long-term and sustainable for you if that's what you want. Or just you know, make sure that you are in touch with their intentions and their you know true spirit. Okay, what other advice do we have here? Interesting that hidden depths came up for the oceanic tarot. So I feel very, very many Pisces pick this and are, or you're looking at a Pisces person here. So generally, just in general, if someone has a lot of Pisces in their chart, they really don't mean any harm. Like they generally are very sweet and well-intentioned, but they're, the Pisces downfall is, you know, usually they have nothing bad that they do to other people, usually unless they have other like very difficult things in their chart, but their thing is they succumb to addictions very easily. That's like their, their flaw. Okay. So chakra DNA, the par paradox of the twins is they are, they are the same and different at the same time. So you don't have to be twins with this person necessarily. We'll see what advice comes here. They do not split equally. They reawaken each other's DNA memory energetically. Spirit is asking you to check into your energies. Yeah. To me, this means, um, Check your energy. Make sure you're not getting too entangled with this person. I feel like this isn't an energy you would want to be too tangled up in. It doesn't mean you, you can't love them, but you don't want to be too tangled and, and enmeshed in their energy right now. But you can still you know, love them from a little bit of a distance. Okay, what else does pile six need to know? Peace. Okay, so... Find your peace about the situation, and I feel like that's that's going to have an influence on this person. It's going to help them calm down as well, especially with all this rushing they've been doing in their mind. Okay, what, what are Pile 6's person's messages? What would they actually say to Pile 6? I need some space right now. I'm working so hard to change and remove all that came between us. So they need some space to do that because otherwise maybe just being in your presence would be a little bit enabling for them. And this entire situation drives me insane. With I want you back. We did have that reunion card as well. I'm so afraid of rejection. They've probably been rejected a lot. That could have led to this drinking, possibly. I'm so scared of change. Yeah, so I feel like they kind of go into a dream world and kind of escape. You're very intimidating. Okay, what are the shadow messages from Pile Six's person? I'm afraid to commit to you. We definitely saw that with the Nine of Cups and the Three of Cups. And I'm hiding behind a mask. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm hiding behind a mask. So try to see through it as much as you can. And I bet you wish you never met me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're so self-defeated. Whoa, yeah, this is the kind of person that feels like they definitely beat themselves up. You know, instead of beating someone else up, they beat themselves up. All right, so what are the lighter messages from Pile 6 person? I've healed my broken heart. Well, that's good. I love being in your company, and I can't wait to see you again. That very much feels to be the case, since this is the Nine of Cups is what came up, you know, when we asked what are they thinking about you. So just because they don't want to commit to you doesn't mean they don't love being around you. And I'm ready to face the truth with courage now. Well, that would be good. It 
it is okay to move on. So they would not blame you if you moved on away from them because they know they're kind of a mess. Please forgive. And I want to hug you right now. Oh, that's sweet. I feel like you've been there um, for this person through a lot. And we have write down your feelings on the bottom of the deck. So maybe you, some of you might be helped by writing a letter to this person. We do have, we have so much water here, but then we do have this, like these swords, like air. I want you by my side. Yeah, they feel like you're really good company. I want to create with you. The Three of Cups can be kind of like that. Like the Three of Pentacles is creating with someone, you know, uh, building something together. But Three of Cups can kind of be like that as well. Especially if you guys are musicians together because water is very associated with music. You leave me breathless and without words. Yeah, they do not know how to explain themselves here. You just give them these feelings, and they just like these feelings when they're around you. I can see eternity in your eyes. I feel you so strongly. I can taste your essence. A very, very feeling type person. You feel like a warm home to me. So yeah, feel, feel. And I want to travel the world with you. Interesting. Okay, I think that's all I have for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. And you can try another pile if you didn't like this one. Thank you very much, you guys. Um, if you want to see the decks used in this video, just stay tuned. And I would love to have you subscribe here if you haven't already. Thank you very much if you have. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, let's check out the decks used in today's video. So this white deck here, this is my original deck divine love messages and then volume two was the black and white one this one there's a link to buy these below and got some new message decks here these are divine another divine love messages from your twin flame slash soulmate and this is by sherry at divine visions and she created this i think she has some other decks too but these are the two i have and then she created this really cool yin yang oracle so i would imagine this deck would get pretty popular the divine yin yang oracle for lovers messages of shadow and light and this is a very popular one the square ones are twin flame messages by heal and ascend tarot this is an all things intuitive deck the hidden truth oracle cards this is Counterpart Connections by the lovely Bridget Rao. I use her decks in almost all of my readings. One of her decks, at least. Okay, this is the Romance Angels, the pink cards. It's another All Things Intuitive deck here. Messages of Love Oracle cards. And let's see. These advice cards here. Where'd it go? This is the Twin Flame slash Soulmates, Higher Love, Wisdom, Spirit, Oracle Cards. So these are all original art by Renee McDonald. She did the art on the back and the art on all of the cards. And she channeled the advice messages from Spirit. So it's pretty cool. And if you guys are interested in pre-ordering this deck from her, she gave us a coupon code. And that is below if you guys are into this kind of thing. All right. So what else? These here, these beautiful cards, are the Enchanted Blossoms Oracle, and this was a gift from Syrah. And this is a very cute little deck. This is the Secret Garden, these little cards. This was a gift from Michelle. All right, I think we made it through all of the decks that were used in each pile. So the tarot, we kind of saw at the beginning. Pile six was the Oceanic Tarot. This is a gift from Zoo. Pile five was the Spirit Song Tarot. This was a gift from Kelly at Firefly Dreams. Pile four was the really awesome Crow Tarot. 
And this is a gift from Julia. Pile three was the Chrysalis Tarot. All these decks are listed below in the description. And pile two was the Dark Wood Tarot, which is really cool. And this was a gift from Holly. And finally, it's a new deck here. This is Tarot of a Moon Garden. Well, it's a new to me deck. It's not newly published. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you as always so much for being here. I hope to see you very soon. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.